Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories. The second victim has now died from his wounds. The Middlesex District Attorney's Office says 24-year-old Jessica Cavallaro shot and killed now both of her parents. She was arrested at the scene without incident. She now faces several charges. Investigators say Cavallaro shot and killed her parents this morning while they sat inside a car that was parked outside a home on Washington Street. Well, as, as all of you know, I've seen you much too often lately. Um, these are horrific incidents of domestic violence. They also point to what we talk about all the time, which is the prevalence of guns and the availability of firearms. Um, you know, many of the incidents we've had in the last few weeks, last couple of months, have involved firearms in the hands of people who should not have had them. Investigators are still searching for a motive in this deadly double shooting as they continue the investigation. We will continue to follow this and bring you all the latest developments right here on CBS News Boston, as well as on WBZ News, starting at 5. Seven people have been arrested in the shooting of an off-duty police officer. He was shot on his way to work last night. Police say he was hit when a group of people in a Jeep shot at an unmarked cruiser. The officer was driving to work in his private vehicle. The officer is in the hospital with serious injuries but is expected to recover. This was the second shooting in Springfield last night targeting police. And if you're heading to the NBA Finals tonight, the NBTA is helping fans get to the garden with extra green line training. And before game two on Sunday night, there will be a free commuter rail train running between Oak Grove, Malden Center, and North Station. The MBTA is calling it the Lucky Express. Let's check on weather now with meteorologist Alyssa Andrews as thousands could of fans see some storm activity develop into the start of game time. So it's something to be aware of, but I think that we're going to be okay, at least for the time being. I think most of the heaviest and the strongest storms will stay central in western Massachusetts. However, that said, we could certainly see some storms right in the metro area around game time too. So what we're looking at right now is light scattered rain activity across the state. And then you look closer to the Cape and Islands, and that's where we're seeing Seeing more reports of rainfall earlier in the day. We've gotten close to a quarter of an inch from some of our weather spotters. We're going to continue to update those numbers, though. And the good news is it's washing away the pollen. We're certainly get, certainly getting a refresh on that. But we are in a next weather alert. So that's going to be for the late day development of the thunderstorms. And along those lines, we're looking at some of those storms to produce some stronger winds. Some could be damaging. I think if that happens, it would be very isolating. But the Storm Prediction Center does have us in this risk for marginal severe weather. What that means is we already know storms are going to be developing this evening. If we get something that turns severe, it would have to reach a certain criteria. So winds of 60 miles per hour or hail that's an inch in diameter. Both of those things would qualify a storm to become severe. What we're concerned with is the potential for damaging wind within some of these storms. So what we think here is these next few hours, six o'clock happens and we see some storms in western Massachusetts. That continues to push eastward and along with that we could see some heavier downpours, some pockets of downpours there. But outside of that, notice how many portions of the state remain dry outside of some of those storms. And then we quickly dry out heading in to Friday, but we do still have unsettled weather remaining in the forecast. That means Friday through Sunday rain chances they're not non-existent, but it's just not going to be a total washout. And Saturday, I'd say most of us are going to be dry, experiencing sunshine. If we do get isolated storms, they'd be very isolated and few and far between. Many of us will have the opportunity to enjoy our Saturday with drier weather. That said, an isolated storm is still possible. And then Sunday will be our rainier day of the two of the weekend pair. Right now we're at 67 degrees in Boston, a little cooler than this time yesterday, and dew point temperatures have started to surge as well. Cloudier skies as you just saw, but still visibility has been an issue into the late morning and afternoon hours due to those close air temp and dew point temperatures. So that's what we're looking at right now. A huge moisture surge. This plume of moisture has entered into the northeast, and so it is causing some fog and visibility issues, especially around the Cape and Islands. Here's a look at our seven day forecast temperatures today in the mid 70s. So not warming up much from where we are right now, but still that next weather alert is going to be valid for those afternoon to evening thunderstorms and then and we do start to get better drying out with more sunshine as we start off next week, Paula. All right, Alyssa, thanks. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.